I bought more than 10 untested PS4 consoles from Goodwill, and in this episode of Gamer Garbage, we're going to test and explore each one of them and see what kind of weird stuff we find. Now guys, here's the thing. I've explored a ton of untested consoles in my day, and I've found anything from $200 games being left in a disk drive to an, a family's entire photo album being left on a PS3. Uh, and I'm afraid Goodwill has some more goodies in store for us today, so let's get into it. All right, so first console here is a PS4 that I paid 40 or uh, seventy dollars for, and the funniest part is the listing said it was in excellent condition, which like it's actually not bad, but <laughs> excellent. Oh, I don't know about that. Look at look at all that dust there. Let's go ahead and unwrap everything. All right, so we got the PS4 cords, and oh nice, we got a third-party controller. It's actually, wait, what? why does this feel exactly like a first-party controller? And then taking a closer look at this console, yeah, it's like it's honestly not bad for being untested, but it's it's definitely very dirty and grimy. Yeah, warranty seals are actually intact though. Let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, got this bad boy plugged in. Let's see if we got power here. Got power, any free games? <sighs> I'm not too convinced we'll get too many free games with PS4s, but you know, maybe we'll be surprised. But let's see if this thing boots up. <laughs> Wait, this, this knockoff PS4 controller even has like the light bar in the touchpad. Why, why is this thing as good as it is? Yo, it booted, let's go. We got a profile here. We got Timothy Corcoran. Cor Corcoran. Okay, see if he's got any games. Yes, <laughs> yes, we got Spider-Man downloaded, nice. The Quarry, the dark, couple of dark pictures games. Oh yeah, my man. All right, let's see if any, any of these work. Uh, it's always 50-50 shot, like maybe it'll work offline, maybe it won't. And yeah, Spider-Man loads up and dude, oh, he's got an 85%. 100%, a 95%, 100%. I'm assuming these are probably all the same save data. He just saved it multiple times. Uh, back from 2022. Okay, I, I see you. Okay. Uh, let's try out the Quarry. I actually enjoyed that game. I have that on the PS5. Let's see if that, this works as well. We got the Quarry booting up as well. Yo, that's awesome. I bet these two games work as well. Let me go ahead and check the whole library. Okay, so that's all, that's all the games we have. We have four games, I, but I would assume they all work because we saw two of them work. We also got a bunch of games here. They're not installed. Wait, hold on. Yo, this guy's got so many games down. Dude, if we could get like connected to the account and um, download these games, ooh, baby. So like, guys, I, I don't want access to this guy's intimate details. Like, I don't need his credit card or anything like that. I, but can you imagine if we had access to the account so we could just download these games and have an awesome offline console with like 70 games downloaded? Just would be so cool. Obviously not possible here as far as I know. Uh, but later in this, this video, you'll see some consoles where I really, really wish I could have gotten more details in the account. Uh, you'll see. We won't be able to because like PlayStation makes you sign in, but let's go ahead and just explore some more. I can't even click on his profile because it says I'm not connected to the internet. What? Oh, come on, man. Okay, at least it shows me the trophy info. We can see, uh, you know, the quarry, Spider-Man, just as we saw. Uh, yeah, a bunch of Assassin's Creed, Kingdom Hearts, Red Dead 2, Resident Evil 2 and 3, Batman, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nice. He was 100%ing all the Walking Dead games. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and put a game inside this thing and see if it works. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really skeptical from how dusty this thing is, but I don't know. Maybe we got lucky. All right, yep, it reads right up. That's actually faster. <laughs> that game loaded faster than a PS4 game did on a brand new PS4 Pro I tested out like three days ago. That's that's wild. I also need to check out the system software. We're on 10.01, so like not super recent. I think that's like under the the jailbreakable threshold maybe. I, I don't know. I haven't kept up with that stuff in a while. But we can also see here, yeah, last thing downloaded was 2022. So yeah, he hasn't played in two years. Um, but makes sense. Definitely upgrade to a PS5. That's about the time when the PS5 started becoming readily available. And guys, by the way, I am changing up how I do the Gamer Garbage score. So basically, we're going to have three categories here. We have, does it work? Did it have a free game? And did I profit? Now, for uh, for this, it was a yes, yes, yes. So this thing is not garbage. Um, but if two, of it, <laughs> if two out of three of them are no, then it's definitely garbage. Um, and so that's the score we're going to be using from going forward until we like change it up again. But yeah, let me know what you guys, what you guys think. But this one is not garbage. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now in this box, I have a little PS4 bundle that I paid like $75 for. We're gonna open it up and just see what's inside. <laughs> okay, so this is a weird bundle. We have, first of all, Fruit Ninja VR, but it's the European version. What? <laughs> it's really random. Also have WWE 2K17. We have two of these blue controllers and I feel like these are, where did these come from? Are these from like the Uncharted bundle or something? Maybe, I don't, I don't know if you buy these separately. The controllers are actually in decent condition if you wipe them down. They're pretty dirty, but other than that, they're actually in, I feel like they haven't been used too much. Now the console, uh, that's a bit of a different story. This thing is really dusty and grimy and oh my gosh, it's just like huge dust bunnies in the front. Warranty seals are still intact though. And this, it smells fruity. How does it smell that fruity? Let's plug it in and see what happens. Oh, that's, oh no, that's a bug. That's not good. All right, let's plug it in. All right, got power. All right, it's booting up. Looks like it's, oh, it's factory reset and the controller is jacked up. I can't go down. Oh, come on, man, really? Okay, this one's a little bit better. <laughs> Even the controller smells fruity. It smells really fruity. 
we got deferred here, so maybe it's not actually factory reset. And oh, it's not. Okay, so I just wanted me to set up again. We got, we got the spring sale. Uh, we got the capture gallery. Okay, PS5 remote play. So this is definitely fairly recent, I guess. You got like Modern Warfare, Warfare, uh, NHL 21, MLB The Show 20, Call of Duty again. It looks like the last time it played was okay, 2022. So that's more recent than I thought. It was responding to some invitations to play. <laughs> it looks like he was playing Call of Duty a lot. Nice. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, we can see some messages now. That's Gitter Video. Mess. <laughs> message deleted deleted by PlayStation Safety. Yo, what was that? Okay, so there was a message deleted by PlayStation Safety, but then the uh, the the username down here, I, I can't say. I mean, I guess I could say it. It's uh, yeah, it's not not something I really want to say on my video. Now, if you had ten tries, you could you could probably guess this username. It's very thirteen year old energy, and it, it, like, dude, it's it's crazy that something was actually removed by PlayStation Safety. I've never personally seen that before. Let me know if you have. And, and what's even crazier is later in this video, we see some more messages that actually weren't deleted by PlayStation Safety. You'll see them. Y'all need one? Duos? Room 41 from Ham Dingus? <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's go check out the last, or the system software on this thing. Around 9.51, so that kind of matches up, I guess, with 2022. Let's go ahead and put a game inside of here. Let's try out WWE 2K20, 2, <laughs> 2K17, and of course, the disc is upside down. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fruit Ninja VR is also upside down. Dude, who, who put these games in here? <laughs> what in the world? Yep, loads right up. Cool. All right, so this console works. But anyways, got a free game. Console works, and I'll probably profit on this thing. So the trifecta, it's not garbage. Let's go. All right, let's move on. Now next up, I have three untested PS4s in here. It paid 188 for everything. Let's open it up, see what's inside. All right, so first PS4 coming out, and it's missing an entire uh, top piece, which is not great. Hard drive still intact though, so that's that's good to see at least. <laughs> let's check out the other two. All right, and this one, oh, this one's got a red, a red plate. What the heck? Never seen that before. Otherwise, uh, it looks fine. All right, and then last but not least here, we got one more PS4. Looks like it actually came from GameStop at some point in time. Got the pre-owned sticker there. Oh, it looks like somebody's address, but somebody, they like kind of ripped up the sticker a little bit. Let me take a look at these games we have here. So we have uh, Shadow of Mordor and the game. Oh, game looks fine. And yeah, we got The Witcher. We got Call of Duty, Far Cry, GTA 5. We got the, wait, what? I've never seen this before. That, that is an interesting cover, his little cat there. That's cool. Oh, and yo, GTA 5's got the map and everything. Nice. All right, let's put these games to the side. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the consoles. <laughs> All right, so we saw this one's jacked up. Uh, it's also got a bunch of screws that are jacked up in the back. It's definitely been opened before, obviously. The red one here has been opened before as well. I think the stickers have been taken off and put back on, so that's a little sketch. And then this one here looks like it's also been opened. One of the warranty seals is gone. So this, ooh, this might be a rough lot. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the one that's half broken and see what happens. All right, I'll be blown away if this one turns on, but let's go ahead and hit that power button. Sounds weird, but it's turning on. Okay, let's see if it boots up. Yo, it's actually booting up. And we got, we got young Ale here. He's got a passcode. Yo, dude. All right, let's see if I can guess this passcode. Dude, I've tried like 45 different combinations. Cannot figure this one out. This is, this is unfortunate because I usually guess the 360 passcodes pretty easily, but I, I I can't get this one. That's tragic. All right, let's go back and oh, we got like holy crap, we got a bunch of profiles. I don't even need that one. All right, we got Mario Real here. Mario Two Point. Is that what it says? I don't know. Let's start with Mario Real here and see what's up. Yo, we got a oh, we got a dynamic background. Nice. We got a bunch of game. Oh, we got the PlayStation Plus Celebration little tile there. We got Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales needs a disc though. That needs a disc. Uh, that's locked. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Needs a disc. <laughs> we do have a capture gallery. Can we see some? Oh yes. Yo, we can see screenshots. Yes. See, I was last playing some God of War back in what? What was this? 2022. Okay. Okay. I see you. Oh, hold up. Let's check out the themes here. So we saw he had a custom theme. Also got a bunch of. Oh, he's got a bunch of other custom themes. But they're all locked. What? Okay. Also, by the way, we're on 10.50, which is I don't know when that's from exactly. Let me see if I can figure out the last time this thing was played. Uh, looks like it was, okay, mid-2023. All right, I'm gonna connect to the internet on this one and this console and just see what happens because I can't really do much on this console without the internet. So let's just, yeah, let's just see what happens. All right, well, I still basically can't do anything without actually updating, which I don't want to do because we're on a little bit of an older firmware. So let's just go ahead and start here by, wait, I forgot to even check if there's a disc inside. There's not, and that's because the eject button is broken. What the heck? Let me see if I can just stick one in. Okay. It needs a lot of help. You got to push it all the way in to push to, to go in. But let's see if this, uh, this game will read up. Now this PS4 right here, I guess, has decided that it wants to be a jet engine. It's kind of taking off. And you're, if you're not familiar with old fat PS4s, this is a very common thing. They just, uh, the fans go crazy, like almost immediately and sound like a jet engine. Uh, I have heard some 
some ways to arrange around this, ways to fix this. But one thing I have tried is using these little 3D printed pieces. And basically you mount these pieces on the four corners of the PS4. It lifts it up some, gives you a bit more cooling underneath the console and hopefully keeps your console a little bit cooler. And I want to thank Bamboo Lab for sponsoring this video as it's because of their A1 3D printer I was able to print these cool PS4 stands and tons of other neat stuff. So let me show you what I've printed and why the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer is just so good. So the Bamboo Lab A1 combo comes in at an entry level price but has the print quality and features of much more expensive 3D printers. You can download models that other people have already made on Bamboo Lab's community platform called Maker World and then you click a couple buttons and the 3D printer does everything on its own. You know, it does its own vibration compensation, flow control, bed level calibration. You just come back when the print is done and you're good to go. Now let me show you guys some of the things I've 3D printed here. And first of all, we have a PS4 controller stand where you put your PS4 controllers, pretty nifty. We also have a vertical stand for your PS4 console. This thing is actually really stable. Uh, very cool stuff to have. We also have some PS5 accessories that are printed, like a PS5 horizontal stand, because I can't stand the original horizontal stand that came with the thing, so this thing is much more stable. We also have a vertical stand for your PS5 Slim, because PlayStation does not include a stand with your PS5 Slim, or your Pro for that matter. Kind of, a, kind of a big deal there. We also even have a bag clip here, which is pretty nifty and made of multiple pieces. You basically just clamp it down and yeah, hold your bag in place. Now printer is all set up here. Let me just show you how to use it because it's actually very simple to use. First of all, come over here to the touch screen, click print files. We're gonna do a PS5 coaster here. So I click here, click next. It's all set up and ready to go. And you can actually use multiple colors on one print. So you can see with the AMS light over here, it holds four different spools, very cool. Uh, we come over here and we're gonna select red for the first part, black for the second part, click print and then it just goes and does everything itself. Very simple to use. So if you guys are looking to take your tinkering and gaming to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the Bamboo Lab printers down below. I'll put a link in the description. Let's go check them out. And guys, let's move on. Oh, yo, it's reading. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there, but it actually, it didn't read for the first like 20 seconds. Then it like reloaded itself and now it's reading. I still can't eject it though. Like the eject button is broken. Uh, let me try to, let me try another game. Please come out, please come out. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, okay. All right, that's the last game I'm gonna try there. Uh, this PS4 is unfortunate. So man, on, on our scale here, doesn't properly work. No free game. That means this thing is garbage. All right, let's move on to the red PS4. All right, next up, let's try to turn this red console on. We got power, let's see if it boots. Well, it was booting, but it just, it just turned itself back off. What? Bro, what? <laughs> cannot start PS4, cannot access system storage. Press power for one second to turn, what? Is there not a hard drive in here? Play it off, and yeah, there's definitely a hard drive. Oh, it looks like somebody actually upgraded the hard drive because it looks like it's a, it's a green Seagate hard drive. Let me just pop that out real quick. So somebody put in a one terabyte Seagate hard drive. Maybe that's the issue here. One thing I didn't try is to see if we have a free game in here. So let's check that and, nope, no free game. All right, guys, so I'm probably gonna go and try to acquire a new hard drive and try to do the update process and see if that'll fix this. Otherwise, let's go ahead and just move on for now. Yes, yeah, so I was going to try to fix this console in this video, but I completely forgot about it until like right now, which is an hour before the video goes live. So we'll just try to fix it in a future episode. And next up, we have the one console here that actually looks halfway decent. So let's go ahead and try to turn this thing on and see if it works. Get power, free game, no free game. Okay, it's booting. Let's check on the system storage status. So somebody probably just unplugged it incorrectly last time to turn it off. Other than that, maybe it'll boot. Uh, let's see. Cannot start the PS4. Bro, what? <laughs> Okay, I need a storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation. Okay, so I guess the system data got corrupted or something. So guys, I put in a flash drive with the update file on the PS4, updated the whole thing, it made me format everything. So we are back here and it actually looks like it was successful because we're, you know, back on the factory setup screen now. So let's go ahead and go through this process, see if this thing will actually boot up and uh, work properly. Let's go ahead and put in one of these random games. We'll do, uh, let's try out GTA 5 here. I got a feeling it's not gonna pull the game in, but, ooh. I mean, it it pulled it in, but uh, that was rough. <laughs> well, I mean, it 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 works. Well, uh, let's see if it'll eject it now. Yes, got it. So, guys, no free game on this one, but it does fully work, and it uh, I made a profit on it, I guess. So, it's not garbage. Let's move on. And next, I've got a PS4 Slim that I paid $103 for, which is pretty steep for an the console. But let's open it up, see what's inside. Uh, and guys, this is why Goodwill shipping costs so much, because they shipped this one singular PS4 in this massive box. It's absurd. And I'm not really sure what's going on here. We have a um, sticker down here. So this is from June 7th. We have a random rubber band that's not rubber banding anything. But overall, the console actually looks pretty solid. It's a bit dusty and stuff. Looks like there's an old sticker from... Uh, the top there. I don't know. Let's let's plug it in. See if it turns on. All right, we got power. Oh, I hear a game inside. Whew, baby, let's go. Let's go. 
Dude, it's always Spider-Man. I swear, like, I've had free games in or on a PS4 is, like, I don't know, 10 times maybe. It's always Spider-Man. Every time. All right, let's put that back in, though, and see if this boots all the way. Okay, finally got this thing booted up. For some reason, it, like, wasn't letting me select user one. Uh, we are booted up now. It looks like it's pretty standard main menu, and the game is loading up. You know, there's no trophies. It's not signed in to anything, but there was a game inside. Are there any other, anything else here? I mean, just the standard stuff, the playroom and everything that comes on here. <laughs> Checking out the notifications, looks like it was booted up 6624. So what? I'm so confused. Did, Good, did Goodwill actually test this, but leave a game inside? What? So the thing not seen here is that it says June 6, 2024 on the screen, but I also bought this console from Goodwill on like June 6th or like within a day or two. So this June 6th here is definitely when Goodwill booted it up and tested it out. Now, like how did they boot this up and not notice there was a disc inside? Or, oh, hold on. Maybe, maybe somebody at Goodwill knew that I bought it. I was like, hey, let me leave a let me leave a disc inside for Jacob R. And uh, that would kind of explain some of the other stuff we've seen before in this video and that we see later on in this video. So, I don't know, conspiracy theories are whirling in here. Why would they do that? I, I, whatever. You guys got a free game. Console does work. So this console is not garbage. Let's move on. Now, next up, we have an untested PS4 Slim that I bought from Goodwill for $98. Still a bit steep for an untested. But let's open it up, see what's inside. Wow, they actually put this in a... Nice little plastic wrap here. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this console, though. And yeah, at first glance, it's pretty clean, honestly. Did they did they clean this? Yeah, it's got a little bit of dust, but not bad at all. Flip into the back, warranty still still intact and everything. I will be very surprised if this does not work. But let's plug it in, see what happens. All right, three, two, one. Got power. Oh, there's a game inside. All right, is it Spider-Man again? <laughs> I bet you it's Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh. Star Wars Battlefront 2. The game's worth like a dollar. All right, oh, that's a free game. I'll take it. Let's put that bad bad boy back in and see if this console actually boots. Yeah, okay, it's booting, but system storage is jacked up again. Oh, man. Ah, oh, here we go. I think it's booting up. Yeah. Got Tariq Rahal. Oh, we got games. Yes. All right, we got Star Wars Battlefront 2, obviously, in the disk drive right now. We got Warzone. We got Rocket League, Apex Legends, a bunch of free-to-play games. We got GT Ooh, GTA 5 and Red Dead. Are these going to boot? Hold up. Yo. Oh, let's go. Yes. All right, here we are. Booted up. Uh, says he's on 76%. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, man, this guy's this guy loaded up. Uh, you got the snipers, the shotguns. I, man, I have not played GTA 5 in so long. Uh, but, yeah, this is so cool. We actually, GTA 5 is just working. Let's go back to the main menu. And as you saw, we also got Red Dead 2, which is awesome. We got Minecraft, Farming Simulator 19. Looks like that was a PS Plus game, so I can't play that. Payday 2. Star Wars, uh, don't have a disc for that. Overcooked 2, Far Cry 4, don't have a disc for that. Let me check out the last time this, this guy was playing here. Ooh, 2019, wow. But I better, uh, assist, I better, oh, dude, we're on 7.51, holy crap. That's, I guess it's not surprising because it's from, uh, it hasn't been updated since, like, 2020. But that's cool to see. Let's go ahead and put a disc, I guess we already got a disc inside of here. Let's see if the disc works. And, yep, Star Wars The Battlefront 2 is loading up here. Let me go ahead and see if there's any other profiles that I'm missing. We got user, user one and Terry Garcia. Let's check out Terry here. Oh, yo, I forgot you can, oh, you can actually see some messages on here without, without connecting to the internet. Okay, okay, so we're on, we're on Terry here. We can see, hey, some groups, phone died. You're really thirsty. <laughs> you want to hang in person? Let's meet. Hey, hi. Sup, hot stuff. Hey. All right. Uh, <laughs> stay out of that. Okay, interesting. So I guess it's only certain profiles you can see the messages because here on the uh, on Tariq's profile I can't click messages. I, I just I'm not connected to the internet, so I can't connect to it. But the other guy I could see his messages. That I'm not sure what causes that, but that's interesting. All right, guys. Well, this console is working. It's got a bunch of free games inside. Free games loaded onto it. I profited on it. So this thing is definitely not garbage. This is the absolute opposite of garbage. So happy here. Let's go, boys. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So this PS4 I paid 77 bucks for, untested. Let's open it up, see what's inside. All right, so we got an OG of PS4 here. Got a few of the cords, which is good to see. Pretty scratch up in the bottom and, oh no. What is this? Did somebody like stick like a, a heated element on top of the PS4 and melt it some? That, that's really weird. This part is unsurprisingly very scratched up. And flip into the back, looks like the warranty seals are gone. So it's definitely been opened up before. Actually, I kind of want to check and see if there's even a hard drive inside of this bad boy. And, and there is. Uh, looks like there's some bunch of gunk down there, which is not surprising, but yeah. Let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, got it plugged in. Three, two, one. We got power. It's making some clicking noises, which is not a great sign. Let's go ahead and check and see if there's a free game inside. Nope, nothing. 
Okay, it is booting up. Well, let's go ahead and see if there's anything loaded on this console. There we go. All right, we got Cameron Roth and Brennan, Brennan Freeze. Okay, we got some stuff here. Let's see if they got any games loaded up on this bad boy. And yeah, we do. We got Madden 22. We got Modern Warfare. We got Black, Black Ops Cold War. Madden 20. Looks like I need a disc for that. Let's go ahead and see what the last time this thing was used was. Yeah, so March 2022. System software 9.04. So pretty old here. Not surprising. We actually got some more stuff here, like Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed, GTA 5, but I don't see those downloaded on the console, which is interesting. So maybe they played those on a different PS4. Let's go ahead and just start by trying to boot up one of these games and see if it loads up. But yeah, game game is working. Let me go ahead and see if, oh, we got a franchise game in progress. Yo, <laughs> looks like this person just scored a touchdown and that was the last time they played. Like, can you imagine that? They're playing a game score a touchdown and then they're like ah no nah, i got this i'm about to get this ps5 let me get rid of this ps4 and yeah the system software is on 9.04 so very old um let's go ahead and put a disc inside of here and see if it loads up we got some spider-man here let's see what happens and yeah it's loading up no problem at all and one other thing i want to check out is the capture gallery to see if there's anything you know just any interesting captures and it looks like we got some gta 5 <laughs> you got a smashed car in the background nice all right well this console we got some free games it is working so it's not garbage. It kind of looks like garbage, but it's <laughs> by definition, it is not garbage. Guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, I paid $121 for this little PS4 bundle. Let's open it up, see what's inside. All right, I got a random cord. got a couple controllers here. And taking a look at the controllers. Oh, actually, oh, that's not bad. We got a blue controller. Looks looks pretty good. It's a bit dirty, but all the controls feel fine. Okay, that's surprising. Got a black controller here, and this one looks even better. Wow, the sticks look good. Uh, okay, I'll take it. PS4 controllers, guys. <laughs> If you know, you know, I, I've seen so many bad PS4 controllers, like honestly, maybe just as many bad PS4 controllers as, uh, as I've seen bad 360 controllers. But anyways, let's check out the console here and see what we got. All right, consoles, not bad. It's actually one of the, the PS4s that got the full matte top, which I like. You know, the glossy part here was cool for about five minutes until you scratch it up like crazy. It doesn't smell too bad. It actually kind of smells like a jewel, which is not too surprising. Warranty seals are intact. HDMI port looks good. Eh, let's plug it in, see if it works. Okay, we got power here. I actually forgot there's a fat PS4. We had to click the button here instead of it being a touch button. But anyways, let's see if there's a disc inside. Nope, no disc. Huh, this console's factory reset. <laughs> That's a rarity. <laughs> All right, we booted up user one now. My first thing I'm interested in is seeing which software version we're on. So let's check that out. And we're on 9.03s. Wow, so this thing has not been played in a, quite a long time, um, but that's, that's pretty old. Let's go ahead and put a disc in. We got Battlefront 2. Let's go ahead and see if it loads up. Okay, I, for how dirty this thing is, I, I did not think it would roll the disc in, but, and yep, it is loading up. This PS4 has continued to surprise me, honestly. All right, let's, uh, console works. No free game, though, and am I going to profit on this? Ugh. Honestly, even with two controllers, I don't know if I'll profit on this. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this garbage because it's, it's too close to call garbage. So guys, next up we have a, a box of three PS4s. Yes, this giant box has three PS4s in it. I also paid $290 for it. I'm sure like $150 was from shipping because freaking goodwill. Uh, I'm already mad. Let's, let's open it up, see what's inside. How incompetent do you have to do, you have to, be to do this? So guys, just, just look at the size of this box and, and wait until the next clip when you see how many PS4s come out of this thing. Like it, it, is, it is wild how large this box is. It goes off my screen and three PS4s come out. I, I'll stop. Dude, I'm glad these consoles are safe, but there's a such thing as too much packaging. Come on, man. Things are falling everywhere. All right, we got a first PS4 here, and uh, looks pretty standard. Oh, what has this? <laughs> what is this? It almost looks like it's been magic erased by GameStop, but it's like it looks like it was dirty magic erased. Like it's it's dirt is ingrained in here. Oh my goodness, there's so much dirt in here. All right, well let's go to the next one. All right, now this one looks about the same, not quite as dirty, honestly, but it is one of the PS4s with the fully matte console. And yeah, I mean, it's dirty, but yeah, not too bad. We are missing one of the <laughs> warranty seals. Only one of them, though. Strange. Let's get the next one open. All right, and last PS4 here is one of the glossy ones or half glossy ones. This one is also very dusty and grimy. Not as bad as the first one, though. Warranty seals are intact, though. So let's go ahead and plug these bad boys in and see if any of them work. All right, let's start with the really dirty one. We got power. Any free... No free games. Let's see if it boots though. System storage is jacked up, of course. And it looks like it was factor reset, I guess. What form are we on here? We're on 11.0, so this is, uh, it's fairly recent. That's weird. Let's put a game inside, see what happens. Oh my gosh. All right, well, at least the game is reading, but uh, console works, no free game, and I, I'm definitely not making a profit on this because there's no free game and I paid way too much, so that's garbage. Let's move on to the next console here. All right, next up we got this console. Let's go ahead and see if it boots up. Turning on, no free game. Okay. Okay, console is booted up. And is this is this one factory reset too? Hold up. What? 
Nah, that's weird. All right, let's check out the system software on this one. 10.01, okay, so they didn't update. If, if Goodwill doesn't get to these two, they didn't update them both to the same thing. So 10.01 is still a little bit old. Let's try out a game, see if it see if it works. Oh no. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> okay, disk drive does work though. So uh, same thing as last time, no free game. Console works, but I'm definitely not making a profit. So you're garbage. All right, third one plugged in. Let's see if it turns on, free game, no free game. Got a feeling this one's gonna be factory reset too. Oh, yep, here we go. <laughs> User one, you gotta be kidding me. So Goodwill definitely tested all these and they just did not say. All right, cool. We're on, we're on 4.55, are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's from like, when is that from? Cause it's actually not quite as old as I thought. It's from April 2017, but it's still, it's still pretty dang old. Okay, let's put a game inside and see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even put the game inside because it's on it's on too old of a firmware. We actually, at least we know the game is we're loading because it knew it needed to update. That's that's the first time I've ever seen that on a PS4, but that's cool. All right, so this console, no free game. It does work. I probably will profit because we got uh, we got an old firmware, so I can sell for a little bit more. So you're not garbage. Let's go. Finally, one that's not garbage. So guys, thanks for watching this episode of Gamer Garbage. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have something to send me for a future episode of Gamer Garbage, let me know down below. I'll put details down there. Also, check out my previous Gamer Garbage video here, and I'll see you guys next time.